I'm Amy from Korean Things. Hi, I'm Sam. Mm. We've been teaching you Korean phonics to help you read Korean letters first. But from today, we are going to teach you how to make a sentence from basics to an advanced level. What do we need when we make a proper sentence, Sam? 주어, 동사. Mm. That's right, we need subject and a verb. So in this class, you will be learning uh, many kinds of Korean pronouns that can be used as a subject. We have a Korean pronouns that are equivalent to English pronouns, but some of them are not commonly used in our daily conversation, so please stay focused. First, let's see what kind of pronouns we have in Korean language system. So mm. let us start with first person, I. I. What is I in Korean? Na. Na. Na, right? So, na. What is you? You. No. 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 Then what is he? He. Mm. Ku. Ku. Mm. Ku. What is she? She. Kunya. 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 What is we? Uri. 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 What is they? Ku. 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 Then let's learn about Korean pronouns when we refer to an object. Okay? It. Mm. What about it? It, it is go ku got. Is okay. what is this? What is this? You got you got you got. What is that? That is how got. How got. Mm -mm. So as you can see, we have Korean pronouns. They can be seen in English as well. However, in our daily conversation, we rarely use 그녀, 그, 그 or 그들, 그들, which is she, he, or they. Right? Yeah. Of course, you can see or hear these words when you read a novel or when you watch a documentary film. But when you talk to friends in daily situations, we rarely use 그, 그녀, 그들. Mm -hmm. Instead of these, we use 그 사람. 그 사람. 음, 그 사람, which means the person. Mm. Uh, the person. Also, instead of 그녀, we also say 그 사람. 그 사람. So we rarely use gender-related pronouns. Mm -hmm. Instead, we just say 그 사람. And for they, we say 그 사람 들. 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 그 사람 들. When you make a plural form, we always put 들 mm -hmm. right after nouns or pronouns. Yeah. And we have another uh, term mm. when we refer to a third person, which is 개. 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 So 개 means he or she. By itself, we cannot tell K is girl or boy, right? Yeah. But we use K uh. very often. Yeah. And we also use Kene, kene mm. for they. Mm. Or Kene de. Kene de is also they. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you want to say uh, he is kind, we don't say Kunun is kind. Yes. Ku is kind. We are more likely to say K is kind. Uh, K is kind. And what about she is kind? K is kind. Uh, she is also K is kind. Mm. And what about they are kind? Can they do are kind? Uh, can they do are kind, right? Yeah. Yeah, we use K or can they do very yes. often. And another interesting part we want to point out is that we sometimes use ungrammatical term, which is 그거. Actually, so we learned it is 그것, this is 이것, that is 저것. But in casual situations, we omit 시오빠 침 옵컷. So we uh, rather say 그거. 그거, 저거, 이거. 어, 그거, 저거, 이거, 이거. 저거. Yeah. Instead of 그거, 저거, 이거, uh, when we talk to friends, we are more likely to say 그거, 이거, 저거, right? Yeah. So, let's say when you visit a Korean traditional market, then you might have a lot of questions like, what is this? What is that? Right? Yeah. Then, in Korean, mm -hmm. we would say like, what is it? Then what do you say? 그거 뭐예요? 그거 뭐예요? 그거 뭐예요? Then what is this? 이거 뭐예요? 이거 뭐예요? What is that? 저거 뭐예요? 저거 뭐예요? 
You'll be learning how to make a full sentence in the next video, but before you move on, there is one last thing we want to point out for you. Yeah. Uh, in English, there are subjective pronouns and objective pronouns and possessive pronouns, which is he, him, his, right, like that. And we don't have different pronouns like that in Korean language system, but we have particles. We have subjective particles and objective particles, possessive particles. Yes. But in this class, we are going to only focus on subjective particles, yes. which is 은, 는, and 는. 은, and 는. These two are subjective particles and they look different, but they mean the same. We use different subjective particles depending on which pronouns is placed just before un or nin, yeah. subjective particle. So let's say, yeah. uh, could you pick some pronouns for nah. me? So let's say, mm. the Korean pronouns you're going to use don't have any patim. Yeah. Mm. Then what would you choose, un or nin? Na. Mm. Nin. Nin. Na nin. Could you read it for us, please? Na nin. Mm. E, na nin. Na nin. 그는 그는 그녀는 그녀는 one more one more 우리는 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 then what happens if pronouns have 받침? Yeah. Um, could you pick uh, any pronouns that has 받침? 아까 했던 거 음. 이것 그것 음. 저것 음. 이것 그것 저것 음. 이것 저것 그것 these three all have 받침 yeah. in the final syllable. So okay. you only focus on the final syllable, and if that has 받침, then we use 은, 은. 이것은, subscribes. 이것은, and 저것은, 저것은, 그것은, 그것은. Uh, 저것은, 그것은, 이것은, these three are quite understandable, but in uh, very casual situations, okay. we are more likely to say 이거, 이거, 저거, 저거, 그거, 그거. 는, 는, right? Yeah. 이거는, 저거는, 그거는. Yeah. These three are already casual form. Do you use this kind of? No, 좀 줄여졌어요, 그렇죠? Yeah, 좀 줄여졌죠. We like to uh, use short form. Yeah. So, what is the short form of 이거, 는? 선생님. 네, 이거는. Uh, short form of 이거는 is 이건. 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 What is the short form of 저거는 is? 저건. 저건. 음. 저건. What is the short form of 그거는 is? 그건 없어. 그건. Yeah. 그건. Let's say you are still in the market, Korean mm -hmm. traditional market or uh, grocery store. Then if you want to mm. say what is this, then 이건, 이건 뭐예요? 뭐예요? 이건 뭐예요? 이건 뭐예요? 음. What is that? Is 저건 뭐예요? 음. What is it? 그건 뭐예요? Yeah, 그건 뭐예요? So we are more likely to use short form of 이거는, 저거는, 그거는, yeah. right? Mm. And we also learned casual form, yeah. Yeah, informal form of he or she, right? Yeah. Uh, what about 개? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have any 받침, so 개는, yeah. yeah, which means she is or he is. Yeah. And what about 개네, they? 개네 also mm. needs 는, so 개네는. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to use ke or kene as a plural form, mm. then we need to, right? Mm. Then what subjective particles would be followed by? Kenedrun. And kenedrun. Kenedrun. Alright? Yeah. Mm. So this is for today, guys. We hope you practice this Korean pronouns as many times as you can and get used to them until we see you in the next video. And in the next class, we are going to teach you how to make a full sentence but simple one and please subscribe and like before you leave and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye. <laughs> 우리 우리 이것 
이것 저것 저것 그것 그것 나는 나는 너는 너는 우리는 우리는 걔는 걔는 그 사람은 그 사람은 이것은 이것은 이건 이건 저건 저건